thank you for this story that you want to share with us and I share it with everyone who's with us on the web in the heart and the story it's like a picture everyone understands the story in your own worry a story a day keeps the worry away and it's so beautiful a guy goes to the supermarket and notices an attractive woman waving at him. He walks over to her and she greets him warmly. He's rather taken back because he can't figure out where he knows her from. So he says, do you know me? To which she replies, I think you are the father of one of my kids. The, one, the man went crazy, the father of one of my kids. His mind races back to the only time he was ever being unfaithful to his wife and says, are you the stripter from the bachelor party that I had sex with on the pool table with all my buddies watching while your partner whipped my ass with wet celery? She looks into his eyes and says calmly, no, no, no. I am your son's teacher. Just let's understand not only the meaning, but the intention, the thought. I am, you know, the mother, it's like, you know, she looks at all the kids as I'm the mama of all these kids in the school. But because the man went, okay. So your thought and my thought and the other's thought, a thought is a destiny, but what are we thinking? Every time something like a thought comes, it's like a cloud. Look at it. And when the clouds, you see stars. Each sky has clouds. And the stars are always there. But when the sun rises, the stars are still there, but the sun is bigger. And in the evening, the stars are still there. And each one of us is a star. For my life, I'm a star. All light from light. This is why in the, we say, oh, Father in heaven. The word Father is the word that power, that having a father, you have the protection, you have the money, you have somebody who loves you, you know, because the Father is the power man that gives you the money, sends you to school, or does all this, gives you toys and this and that. So, if my Father is in heaven. This is a symbol. And heaven is not there. It's here. So trust the word. Trust existence. Trust that somebody is taking care of me. I'm here for a reason. Whoever gave me this reason and this being and this birth is taking care of me. Not my mother. Jesus said, you are not my mother. Oh, woman. You are not my brother. He said, okay, my soul brothers and sisters. The ones that you are together, you know, it's like when there is a need, talk. But when you are together in the same treasure, no need to talk. What Francis said, he said, I was a beggar. In my father's eyes, I was very rich and an emperor. But this is bullshit. I was a beggar. I was insane. Now I am into in no insane anymore, sanity, but nobody knows. And so Buddha, when he came back, and the father said, you were a king, an emperor, and now a beggar. He said, I was a beggar, now I'm an emperor. Look at my eyes. Everything can be changed in your body except the eyes, the mirrors for each other. So don't need to have any frame to be famous. Fame is foam. Don't need any frame for this. Because you are the wheel and you are the center and the circumference. Both of them. Without this, there is no this. You are the shadow and the reality of the shadow. You are the moon and the moon in the lake and the moon in the water, in the bucket of water or whatever. But why look at the shake and why look at the shadow and just look at the real moon? And there is a gravity that the moon would, if 
you are in love with God, with whatever, you know, this godliness, the energy, there is a law, law of gravity, like the apple goes down. But you go up, ascend the press, descend the press. This is why when Muhammad said, your mother earth, Ummukum al Ard, and the tree, the palm tree, looks like us when you chop it like, okay, vertical and horizontal. And both are feminine energy. That's the ascent. That's why a woman doesn't need to go to church or whatever. Because the energy of a woman is ascending. The energy of the man is, yes, controlling and being earthly. So in the second body, 50-50, manhood, womanhood, earth and heaven. So when two lovers are together, it doesn't mean that they are body with body. A body with a body doesn't last. This is the marriage and divorce, honeymoon. But when the moon with the sun are together, بدر علينا, and the sun, male, female, when they are together, then there is no need to have a divorce or to know that there is a divorce. The divorce comes for the body. But the being is connected. Forever we are all brothers and sisters to a royal family, not loyal family. But number one, the law of truthfulness. Don't lie. When the lie comes, please watch it. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Until no more lies. There is a school Zaradustra, the first 40 days, no lie. If on the third day or the 30th or the 39th, you go back. And then the next 40 days, you don't do any compromising. How are you? I love you very much. I miss you. This is all bullshit. More fucking and maniac than the lie. And then you don't stab in the back. You don't talk when they are not here. Then you don't ask God, give me this. You are not a beggar. It's around six years of studying and being with masters and doing this. And, and then you go and you'll be alone in the desert where there's no water, there's no food, there's nothing. And you are with the animals and you look eye to eye contact with all the animals. And the lion comes and the serpent comes and this comes and the butterfly. And, and you live there and you forget your name, you forget your body. And, Nothingness, no more. How to live and watch the movie Meeting with Remarkable Man. Then you walk on that balance. <sighs> That's the cross. Don't go too far with the wisdom or too far with the science. The science and the soul. Just be in the middle of the cross. Keep crossing. In the middle. So that middle is the core of the heart. That's the dance in between the 32 and the 32, which is 64. And this is the science of the eight. You go to 64 planets, 64 galaxies, 64 this, and beyond that, and beyond, beyond any bond, any bondage. No beginning and no end. That's the beauty of our reality. From infinity to infinity, from divinity to divinity. That's our real identity. I'm not a woman, I'm not a man, I'm not the body. I'm a being. I came for a reason beyond, beyond, beyond any season. Look at the seasons or whatever, all the seasons, the four or the five seasons, you know, the rain and the fall and the winter and the summer, they all dance together. Do you know that story when a man wanted to pick one of his kids to be the big boss after him or whatever, the king? And he said, okay, go for one year and then come back and tell me what did you do? After four year, one year, the four of them came and they said, I didn't like the summer, it's very hot. I didn't like the winter. I didn't like the fall. I didn't like this, I didn't like this, I like this, I like this. But the father said, there is a rope. 
Where is the trope? Where is the day and the night? All these seasons they are dancing together. Because of this, there is no spring, there is no grass, there is no rain and winter, there is no flower, there is no wheat, there is no life. So all this they dance together. We too. And just be, be with your feelings. Don't repress it. I don't want to be with you. That's all. Thank you very much. Delete, block, and fuck. That's all. Now, like two books. One of them is bullshit. The other, fuck you. These two books are going to be for sure for the Arabs also on the web. But one of them... It's going to be for maybe one of these so-called rulers or presidents, I don't know. But the new book now, it's in the hands of the King of Jordan. And the title, who knows? And any page, it took me three hours to read it, but maybe a month to write it. But now, from now on, I'm going just to talk the books, just like this. I have a machine now, recorder. I don't need to write anymore because we all flow what is inside us. We are all rivering, not a river. So let's all be responsible, not impossible. I am possible. This responsibility, this ability is within each one of us. I am responsible for my body, for my home, for everyone who comes here. I'm living in the ugliest, the most dirtiest building maybe in Lebanon. You have it on the web, you can see it. And all the people that they live here, the worst, the best of the worst. Nobody speaks with anybody. I try to put flowers, I try to put doormats, welcome home or whatever. But they are all running out after money. They are very rich, very tight, stingy. And the house is like so small, you know, it's like, but bigger than any grave, you know, bigger than anybody. But at least I couldn't visit anyone there. The house so cluttered and so dirty and so. What are you here for? I said, nobody courage enough to come and visit this home. And from outside the building, the only building, the only apartment that has no curtains, but flowers, plants, all around. Because the cup and the wine have the best cup and the best exclusive wine. Drink the wine, throw the cup, and wake up. This is what we are here for. No makeup, wake up. And nobody has to give you the key, it's inside you. It's your thirst that takes you to the ocean, to swim, or to the spring, to drink, or to wherever, to eat, and to be with friends and dance. And this is the word, Alleluia. <laughs>